and welcome to Dashboard Overview. In this section, we're going to be briefly going through some of the things that you're going to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis through the Swoop software on its dashboard. We're going to begin by logging in or signing into our account. You're going to see two primary sections pop up that you're going to be working uh, as with a, when dispatching. One section called Pending, the other section called In Progress. With the pending section, you're primarily going to be working and going through the statuses that pop up for jobs. A job status can range from scheduled, or a job not happening immediately or right now, to pending, a job that's been sent to a provider using our software, to accepted, a provider using our software that's accepted a job, to uh, assigned, a provider who's using our software accepted a job and then assigned it to a specific truck. Once a job has been dispatched, it'll drop into the in-progress section. When a job is dispatched, it'll pop up as dispatched in the section. From dispatched, it'll be in route or the actual truck going to the location to on-site, saying that the provider is actually on-site for our customer. To towing, if it is a tow, to actually them going to the location for drop-off. To tow destination, them actually being at the drop-off location. Very easily, in order to adjust columns, quite simply, put your cursor over a section, and then to expand or retract, hold that section down, and you can do so as follows. Additionally, in order to sort sections by clicking on the actual section itself, it'll sort the section by just clicking on it. Primarily, we, we uh, sort by ETA because obviously we want to take care of the ETAs or the jobs that are most urgent or coming up most quickly. You can also change who the dispatcher is on the far right. We can scroll up and scroll down in order to find our name if we change it over and we dispatch it ourselves. And lastly, you can also adjust what type of filter you see Currently, we're seeing all dispatchers filter. Let's say I didn't want to have everyone's section and I just wanted to see the jobs I'm currently working on in the pending and in progress section. I'll deselect everyone and I'll select myself. That'll give me all jobs I'm currently working on as well as jobs that no one is currently working on. 